you star code Brambi. Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna build a house based on where I live. So it's gonna look a little bit as you are in Belgium because I am from Belgium. It's a tiny little country in the middle of Europe, right next to the UK. We speak Dutch, French and German and it's a whole mess of a country. Now let's get right into the video. <laughs> and I'm also gonna teach you some of the history and how houses came to be like that, or at least how I think houses came to be like that because I have very little knowledge. So don't trust everything I say. <laughs> now, before we continue building or at least start building because we haven't even started yet I do want to show you a website that is called ugly Belgian houses and it's super accurate you actually see a lot of these in Belgium so if you go to it ugly Belgian houses you will find a lot of these and uh, this is actually what Belgium looks like like if you go outside you will definitely see a house that looks like that with the side paneling and stuff like that so it's very interesting to see ugly Belgian houses you see these types of houses a lot as well so definitely go take a look if you're interested in some Belgian quote-unquote architecture because our houses are pretty ugly. Now of course starting the build so this is not my house this is just based on where I live and uh, I'm gonna try and bring in some history and stuff like that so first of all we need to start with the front of the house because that's very important in Belgium. It has to be ugly at the front so that you know it's a Belgian house. So I'm gonna do it's probably I was gonna say lower middle class but the house prices are so out of the roof probably everywhere so I'm gonna call it a middle class house. House. This is what Belgians live in. Let's start with the front part. So first of all, we have a little wall where the toilet is going to be or the front toilet. A lot of houses actually have a toilet in the hallway. Then we have a door and then we have four more bits for the living room. So there we go. That's the front of the house. It's actually a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be, but that's all right. Then the hallway looks a little bit like this. I'm actually going to make the house a little bit thinner, probably. Toilet is over here, right at the front, and this is where you enter in the hallway. And then the stairs go right in the corner over here. So this is pretty much the hallway for a Belgian house. Now I do need some open stairs because we will need to have an attic under that as well. You can only do that if you have open stairs because otherwise you won't be able to go downstairs. So we'll fix that with a basic shape. Okay, yes, something like that. Imagine these are closed off and that leads us to door one and door one will lead to a dining room We'll get to that later and then there's another door right next to that continuing this I think I made it a little bit too wide for an actual Belgian house So we're gonna make it a little bit smaller skinny house So houses are usually pretty narrow at the front, but they do go way back at the back of course at the back why never mind that then we got this area that goes down right here this closes off and that is the living slash dining area so usually we have a table here at the back of the house and usually when you have family over that's where you sit like Christmas dinners and stuff like that that's usually where you sit this looks exactly like my grandmother's house actually and then of course all of the chairs around that then going down here you have your sofa and then usually there's like an extra sofa right next to that so if you have guests over you can at least like sit together or something some people even put a chair over here but I feel like that's a little bit overkill isn't it and then this wall is usually completely walled in with shelves and Belgians do like their old wooden shelf so uh, let's just add that to the bunch and there's a window over here with these uh, see-through curtains yes panel curtains that is what I meant but they are always closed so first thing oh wait we can't oh wait we can <laughs> Never mind. They're always closed, so when you pass on the street, you can like vaguely look inside, but you can't really see what's going on. So fun fact about that. Then there's the front door and right next to the front door, as I mentioned before, there's a tiny, tiny little window for the toilet. I wonder if this is resizable enough so that we can make it into a small window. I mean, yes, it does look something like this. So we're going to use that. And you might wonder, well, where is the kitchen then? Where do we get our food from? There's usually a little area behind the house that people call the kitchen. It's pretty pretty long and narrow again and behind that especially in older houses the bathroom is right behind that area because if you needed plumbing for the kitchen, it was easier to get all your plumbing together. So there used to not be a toilet over here because people prefer to have their plumbing all together, or at least they had to. So that usually leads to a bathroom. And then this is usually an open door to the kitchen, then a sliding door to the backyard. And in the backyard, because our houses are all right next to each other, there's usually like a wooden uh, fence that goes all the way to the back of the garden, connecting to the backyard of a house on another street. I'm gonna leave that open for now. Oh, and what happens a lot in Belgium as well is like one neighbor wants wooden paneling, the other neighbor wants, for example, a brick wall. So then you have like in your backyard, you have 
a brick wall on one side, you have a wooden wall on the other side. Just because you have to agree with your neighbor on <laughs> what type of fence you're getting, it's quite funny. So then the kitchen usually looks something like this. Lots of counters and a door to the backyard. Even though you got a sliding door there, there's usually a door right here to the backyard. I'm actually gonna remove this counter. And then the sink goes right here because most people or most houses, they still do have a window to the backyard over here as well. So when they do dishes, they can look outside. And usually there's no such curtain over here because, well, it's the backyard, so why bother? And a lot of these houses look the same in Belgium because <laughs> World War II happened and uh, most of Belgium actually got destroyed. So yes, that's uh, that's where it came from. Usually there's like a little place right here, a little workshop right here as well, but we're not gonna add that this time. Then for bathrooms, usually there's like a bath and a shower combined. So I'm making a house, let's say 1970, 1930 to 1970 is probably when most houses were built. So I'm making a house based on that. So usually there's like a bathtub, but then in that bathtub, there's like a shower, if I make sense. Something like this, but with a curtain going all the way through. Then we have the toilet right next to it. And usually a double sink. Sometimes there isn't, sometimes there is, but let's add a double sink. And the door to the toilet is usually right in front of the stairs. Sometimes Sometimes the door goes to the living room as well. It really depends on the house, but this is like a general layout of a Belgian house. Some houses also have a fireplace in that lost area over here between the dining table and the um, living room. So we're gonna go all out. We're gonna add one, a fireplace, little cutesy fireplace. Then behind the dining table, there is usually a bookshelf or a shelf where you put glasses and stuff like that inside. So we're gonna get a cabinet like this. And then on this side, there's usually low shelves with like random stuff in it, adding that as well. A big, big chandelier above the dining table. I wonder if we can find one that will work. Imagine we get this. <laughs> no, I will use that one. Then going upstairs, we usually have a teeny tiny hallway that is super dark and scary carry. And usually, but I'm not gonna build that today, but I do wanna mention it. There's like a little um, plate in the ceiling. If you open it, a stair will come out like a foldable stair and it will lead you to the attic. People put their Christmas decorations and stuff up there. And then usually there's one big bedroom for the parents at the front of the house. And then there's two more bedrooms. So no bathroom upstairs, although more recent houses do have bathrooms upstairs, but oh well. And sometimes this is chopped up into two bedrooms, but you don't see that a lot anymore. Let's do it for this video. Then same window in the parents' bedroom and usually another small window right above the door. So it looks something like this. Carpet isn't really done here in Belgium, especially not in living and dining rooms, but also not in bedrooms. We usually either go for a vinyl floor that looks like wood or a real wooden floor. So that's what we're gonna be using today. Oh, and then same thing at the back. I forgot about that. You also have the same windows at the back or at least the same layout at the back of the house. So one small window, why are the curtains inverted? And one large window. Moving back downstairs, I'm actually gonna go and copy the floor that we did upstairs for the main living room and the kitchen. Then usually the hallway has that beautiful old floor, which I would never remove. So let's find the most beautiful material we can find. But it's something like this. It's usually really beautiful flooring. I always get jealous, but let's keep it at that. And the bathroom is kind of ignored <laughs> when it comes to flooring. So we're gonna use the acoustic tile. I feel like, yeah, that's that's something that would definitely be in Belgium. Then moving on to the roof. Now the roof is quite tricky. It's usually just an attic underneath it. So we're not gonna spend too much effort doing it. It's usually just a bunch of boxes and trash on there. Some people actually built out their uh, third floor or their roof floor to have a bedroom under it or just make it nicer have like a little thing popping out of it but not most people because it's very expensive to do so. I'm actually gonna wait with the roof because I plan on doing something else. And that brings me to my next point. So some houses actually have a little room right next to it with a garage. So it's something like this and the garage is never used for the car. There's always a bunch of trash in there and um, like brooms and stuff like that and the car is usually parked out front like right here or something. There's a garage right next to it. But some houses do not have that luxury. So it usually looks like this. Let me add a roof to that. Of course, the roof is flipped. So usually the roof goes up to that side, goes down to the back side, not like this. And then there's a garage door over here. But sometimes when the houses are right next to each other and there's space at the back, some people actually have a um, garage right at the back of their house. So then it looks something like this. Garage is right here. And it comes out to another street where a lot of garages meet from different backyards 
parts and then they can drive out to the normal road like that. So it really depends on how much space there is in the street and stuff like that. For today we're gonna leave the garage at the back and of course a lot of these houses or a lot of streets in Belgium are actually exact copies of each other <laughs> which is funny but uh, a lot of these houses are right next to each other and they all look the same in the same street and then usually the outside is painted in brick red or red brick <laughs> as you saw earlier on ugly Belgian houses the sides of these blocks of buildings are usually in like a shingle probably because they thought they were gonna add to it but they never did I don't know there's usually shingles on the side some people also choose not to have a garage and just have the garden go all the way through the back and then put a little gate in there so they can exit through there and now we can actually go and do the roof so the roof is usually the same throughout all these houses i wonder if it will work okay yes perfect thing like that and of course the chimneys can't forget about the chimneys and then the windows are usually in a wooden finish with white doors white plastic doors <laughs> Very old-fashioned, I know. Then the front yards of these houses usually are pretty much the same. A lot of the times the city actually looks after the front yards of these houses. So they're pretty much all the same. With a single path leading to the front, then a path connecting to the other house. Basically something like this. Now some houses have mailboxes built in right in the front door. So it's a little gap in the door where mail goes through, obviously. <laughs> But then a lot of places also have the exact same mailbox right at the front and then a bit of flowers planted into the little area between the house and the little pathway just adding some random plants and then at the front there's usually some bushes to prevent cars from driving onto the grass and then the kitchen bathroom is covered up by a roof it's not a roof terrace it's just a flat roof it's actually pretty unsafe to go on there so I wouldn't personally do that and on top of the roof here there's usually some type of asphalt just a quick finish so it looks like this there's usually a little vent where the kitchen is as well and where the bathroom is so or a sky roof and in the backyard same thing a lot of these tiny gaps are usually covered by stone and then a little bit in the backyard as well some people choose to fill that up with planters just like this and they put like whatever flower in there some people also put Put tiny little tables just for two people so it does look something like this and actually at the back side of the house the windows are usually a PVC or a plastic white so I'm gonna keep it that way they do look different than at the front probably because this was cheaper <laughs> I don't know we're pretty cheap oh yes and before I forget some garages at the back of the houses do have roofs other garages have exactly the same thing I put on the kitchen and then some garages also have a window into the backyard so garages are multi-purpose. We um, use them for workshops. We use them to, I don't know, put our trash in there because nobody wants to open the attic door. And the thing is, there's always a lot of spiders in garages, so I avoid them. And then some people have these really long laundry lines spanning across their garden. And there you can dry your clothes. So going out of build mode, this is usually what you see in Belgian streets, or at least in small cities. In big cities, it's kind of different. But in small cities, you have a lot of these same houses, same streets, everything the same. And then going inside to our house, you have the hallway with the beautiful floors, stairs that go upstairs. Oh, and there's usually a basement down here as well, small basement where people store their um, W Ein. And um, yeah, it's, it's, some houses don't have basements, some houses do have basements. It really depends. But the basement is usually under the stairs so there's the same set of stairs that goes down. You got a very tiny guest toilet over here in a lot of houses, not all of them. Then you enter into the dining area. So this is usually where you sit when you have guests over. This is usually the door that leads to the small basement where the drinks are stored. And you got your shelf with all of your um, kitchen stuff in there. You have a lot of bookshelves and TV shelves and uh, you have your couch over here right next to the front window looking outside. We have a sliding door that leads to the backyard, usually very very narrow area right here leads to a bigger place in the backyard and yes everyone can see you here and then you have your kitchen usually looking out into your little backyard area so that's why people put planters up here a little door and then the old-fashioned bathroom that we did with the shower bath combination two sinks and a toilet going back and going upstairs we have a first bedroom very tiny bedroom but that's how it's done right next to that we have a bigger bedroom sometimes these bedrooms are shared because there used to be very big families now luckily that is better there's another bedroom and then you got your master bedroom 
at the front of the house and I'm going back outside. So we have the clothing line where you dry your clothes. You have the garage that doesn't have any light. That leads to a street at the back of the house where you can drive all the way to the normal street with your car. And I forgot to paint a wall or it inverted. It probably inverted. And so this is usually what houses look like in my area. Of course, there's a lot of different types of houses and different things, but if I think of Belgium, this is what I think of when it comes to houses. There's also bigger houses, smaller houses, bungalows, stuff like that, but this you see a lot. So uh, I wanted to do something like this to, uh, I don't know, show you where I'm from or something like that <laughs> but that was it for today guys let me know where you are from and if the houses look any similar to this i think in the uk the houses look a little similar to this but they are still a bit different but anyways that was it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching hit that like button and please subscribe